On his first visit to Geneva after being re-elected UN Secretary General for the United Nations for a second consecutive term, Ban Ki-moon visited Geneva's UN office to launch the 2011 Millennium Development Goals report, which he said paints a mixed picture. On the one hand, he explained the MDGs have made a tremendous difference from raising awareness to lifting hundreds of millions of the world's poorest from poverty, given more access to education, better health care, and improved access access to clean drinking water. Progress has been uneven. The poorest of the poor are being left behind. We need to reach out and lift them into our lifeboat. Now is the time for equity, inclusion, sustainability, and women's empowerment. After the launch, the UN chief spoke to the media, saying that people are looking to the UN now more than ever before. Never has the United Nations been so relevant, so urgently needed, he said, by so many people around the world, and expressed the importance of media in covering the UN. South South News asked the Secretary General about the issue of inequity in social development and what is needed to achieve the MDGs in regard to his propositions on political will and mechanisms for change. Uh, we need the strong partnership. It's not the work of governments, it's the work of business communities, philanthropists, and NGOs, and even individuals. And each and every citizen can be a part of this uh, common, common efforts. And we have to uh, meet this target. That is why today I launched this MDG report uh, for 2011. Let us work together. We need the support from uh, media uh, to raise uh, political will. Mr. Bond visited various booths at EcoSox Innovation Fair, a trade show style exhibition which runs parallel to the substantive meeting on education for all, displaying new initiatives on advancing the education agenda. The UN chief also outlined major UN objectives including tackling nuclear safety and security at September 66th session of the General Assembly to bolstering political will and finding comprehensive solutions for sustainable development within the context of next year's Rio Plus 20 conference on promoting green economy and sustainable growth to help eradicate poverty. Sustainable development is the key. A development that connects the dots, that deals with the particular problems as part of our comprehensive whole, uh, that offers integrated solutions to issues of climate change, water scarcity, energy shortages, food crisis, and global health and also women's empowerment. As part of the UN development agenda, ECOSOC's week-long high-level segment on education for all will adopt a ministerial declaration on Friday, helping to advance the access, quantity, and quality of education around the world. On September 19th and 20th in New York, the high-level meeting will address the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases worldwide, focusing on the economic and social impacts, particularly in developing countries. Afaf Kanja for South South News at the United Nations in Geneva, Switzerland.